The doctor has really got to stop setting fire to major cities. Welcome to the Time Treadmill. I'm Ron, and these are my sweaty thoughts about Doctor Who. All the way back in the Romans, the first doctor was responsible for starting the fire that burned Rome to the ground. And now here in the Visitation, the fifth doctor is responsible for starting the Great Fire of London at Pudding Lane in the 17th century. Don't even get me started about what the doctor does to Pompeii. In any case, the visitation is particularly noteworthy as being the final episode to have the sonic screwdriver in the classic era. When Eric Sayward wrote the scene of the sonic screwdriver being destroyed in part four of the visitation, his intention was to have a closing scene where the doctor pulls a new sonic screwdriver out of the drawer but producer John Nathan Turner actually hated the sonic screwdriver. He thought that it was a too convenient crutch for story writers to use to get the doctor out of a situation. And so he decreed that once the sonic screwdriver was destroyed, it was gone forever. And thus, for the remainder of the classic era, there is no more sonic screwdriver. Sixth Doctor never has one, and the Seventh Doctor only acquires one at the very beginning of the television movie with the Eighth Doctor. But for the rest of the 80s, it's done. It's totally gone. And honestly, I can't say I disagree with John Nathan Turner's decision. And that's really about all I have to say about The Visitation. It's a good story, solid story. You can see why Eric Sayward so impressed the producers at the BBC to bring him on full-time. And tomorrow, tomorrow, I am so excited. It's a story in a day, and, and one that is very near and dear to my heart. I'll explain tomorrow. Yeah.